So I wanted to create a site today in SharePoint 2007 and also create a similar site in SharePoint 2010. Um, changes or the methods to do them are pretty much the same, but I just wanted to go through it in case people might be getting a little confused between the differences um, in 2010. Uh, so in 2007, when you we want to create a site, we can either go to Site Actions and click Create, or let's just go back real quick. We can either go to View All Documents and click on Create that way as well. So when we want to create a new site, we go to the Web Pages section and we click on Sites and Workspaces, and then from there we put in our site name or subsite name. and then we choose a template. So, as you can see, we have several templates under the collaboration, meetings, enterprise, and publishing. So for simplicity, we're just going to create a, a team site. So I'm gonna leave all these settings the same, um, and I'm gonna click on Create. <laughs> And I forgot, I need to, of course, add a URL. So I'll just copy my name. And put that in the URL. And after a couple of minutes, here we have our brand new site. And as you can see, it's our subsite, which is connected to our top level site here. Okay, fairly simple. So in 2010, it doesn't really change that much, it's just as easy. Um, so all we do is, again, we have the options to either go to more options, and we can either go to the site section here, and look for our team site, and create it from here, or we can simply go to all documents or view all site contents much the same like in 2007 and click on create here so again for consistency I'm going to click on the team site and I'm going to call it subsite one much the same as we did before and this time I'm going to remember to put in the URL and here we have more options so these more options are pretty much the options that we had when we were in 2007 if you recall we'll click on site workspace and these options are pretty much similar to what we have here as well okay so again we're going to leave them all the same and then we're going to click on create and we're just going to wait for that to complete. And now we have our site. So as you can see, pretty much creating new sites or subsites within SharePoint 2010 20, and 2007, very similar other than a few little minor changes and whatnot. Hope this helped. Thanks.